Atom is a vertical canvas for OBS where you can make vertical content, short form content, TikToks, YouTube shorts, all that other crap, Instagram reels, Facebook reels, Instagram stories, whatever you wanna do. Honestly, one click in OBS and you're making short form content and you don't even have to edit it, you don't have to go through Clipper or uh, uh, Eclipse or anything like that. It's super, super, it couldn't be more simple, honestly. Let me show you how to do it. If you haven't already done this through people like Her uh, Hellas, what was it? Harris Heller. <laughs> Let me teach you how in this video, how to install and use Atrium, Atom, Atrium, whatever it's called. Okay, so first off, you wanna go to atom.tv, not atom.com, which will take you to their homepage here. When you go to their website, you'll be routed to this 30 day trial stuff. Uh, don't worry about that. Just scroll down to the Atom vertical plugin for OBS 29 and up. Um, you just a free download, click download. So basically it's a exe file, uh, which you launch just an application, which will automatically integrate it with your OBS. I've already done this. So this is essentially what my what it looks like when Atom is in your OBS. Um, so you'll see it off to the right here. This is my vertical scene. It's completely different than what you're seeing on the main canvas. That's because you have to make uh, different sources. You have to integrate more different sources into this vertical scene here. So from, from this point, once you get it installed, you're gonna want to go to this gear box here. If you don't see your vertical canvas, make sure you go to docs, scroll down to your vertical sources and scenes, make sure all these are checked, and that way it'll be displayed on your main OBS page. So from this gearbox, we want to go to general and make sure that the resolution is the resolution of a vertical format. So 1080 and 920, this should be default. You can always lower the resolution if you have issues uh, recording it or streaming it. So you can go to 720 if you really want to. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Why would you lower your quality? Um, just get a better PC, easy, new. The video bitrate, uh, since you're recording, you can have it as high as you want. Um, but if you are streaming, you have, do have a cap on Twitch for 6,000 kilobytes per second if you're not a partner. So just keep that in mind uh, for the different websites you are streaming to. I don't know what TikTok or Facebook or Instagram vertical format streaming bitrate limitations are, but uh, do your research and uh, find what works for you and your internet. Audio bitrate, I just keep at 160. I don't really know the difference. Uh, literally, people are listening to their this on their phone anyways, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. But this is what the important part is, the backtrack. This is essentially what records everything, okay? I always have backtrack on, and it's always running while I'm streaming. Um, or you could just not have it always on, you could just have it run while you're streaming or recording. Um, I set my backtrack recording length to 60 seconds. You can change it, it's fully customizable. So you can do that and then you pick your back recording, back track recording path, um, just anywhere you just create a folder and have all your files there. Um, and then you can hotkey it in OBS. So if you had a funny moment, you wanted to clip it and you don't want to use something like StreamerBot or, or Steam Deck or Loop Deck or one of those things where you have a button to clip things, you could hotkey it to on uh, something on your a keyboard or you know if you have a pedal or something you can do that um this the streaming tab goes to you know it's it's uh, just like obs is streaming it has um its own server and key and um this is mostly for you know TikTok something like that you want to stream vertically to twitch so this is basically its own streaming path in obs so you can multi-stream uh through this option i don't do that so there's nothing in here and i don't have any tips for you so sorry Recording. Um, I honestly would recommend, me personally, I like to have um, everything recorded in this format. If I, I will record my entire VOD in vertical format, just so I have the option of going through and clipping everything, making, making short form content through the VOD entirely, rather than relying on myself and viewers to clip things. I would rather 
have the entire thing and go through and watch it and clip it myself. So that's another option. If you don't want to go worry about pressing the clip button, you just you just go and record everything. So just hit the record button. You should be just like recording your vertical or sorry, your horizontal canvas. So if you want to create a button through StreamerBot specifically, um, I can help you with that. So uh, in StreamerBot, if you want to create a button to uh, record the last whatever seconds of backtrack, so you can clip, it's a, basically a clip. Um, you go and import the string that's in line description, and then you go to import actions and then import string here. So just copy and paste it and then press import, and then you'll get all of these buttons here, wherever they fucking are. So over here, once you import all that string, just go over to OBS vertical, and then you'll have all of these vertical options. Backtrack, save, start, status, stop, start, status, record, toggle, get current, switch, whatever, all this crap. The only actual one I use is backtrack save. So what the backtrack save does is records a records the clip and saves it to your vertical format. Wherever you save that, it looks like this. This is all of my um, my saved backtrack files. There's a lot of them. Basically, you'll have a vertical clip like this um, that you just post anywhere. So what's interesting about this is you'll notice that I have my my gamer, not my gamer tag, but my <laughs> my username here, whatever, my freaking channel, and then like what, what platform I have on the back of the badger. So how I did that is in OBS, you can put anything in this vertical scene, um, which is terribly interesting. You can you can do uh, so many things with it. The name is essentially a text document on here. So if you go in my vertical sources here, you'll notice, oh, that is a that is a text that is just manually entered text and then a PNG of the YouTube. So if you want to get a little bit more complicated with it, other than, you know, putting your name and everything on there, it's just a text document on the vertical scene, which is super simple, super easy to do if you wanted to do that. So basically you'll see, I just, for my vertical videos, I have my webcam up top and then my name and then the gameplay on the bottom. Uh, pretty simple setup. I would recommend keeping it clean, keep, keeping it nice, but you can add anything you possibly could want to this. Um, you can uh, add a captioner. Let me show you how to do that. So it's basically a browser source called Web Captioner. It's a connection of your uh, microphone. So it'll just dictate what you're saying live, bring it into OBS as a OBS source, and then make sure you're using it as like a, uh, has like a green screen on it. So you notice I use a, a background that is green. So I just chroma key the background out as you would, I chroma key the background out and the audio will start. So you can see, there we go. So uh, once it's connected to your microphone, it will say everything that you say. Um, you can format it in different ways. It's very interesting. I don't like, I don't use it anymore. Cause like sometimes, here's the thing with it is that it kind of needs to be on top. Uh, like you can't minimize the browser. Like it will stop dictating. So the way you just work around that is you essentially just don't minimize it. You just bring OBS to the, so the top of your, your desktop. Um, so you see, you'll notice that it's still, it's still uh, dictating, even though I have tabbed out of the browser source. So it should work. I mean, like this is a good way if you don't want to put captions on your videos and just kind of keep them more engaging or for, you know, like, you know, you could do this live on your stream if you wanted to integrate this with your horizontal canvas you can do this um webcaptioner.com super easy um super simple and it's free so yeah that is that is uh a tone vertical plugin format let me know if you have any questions i'll be happy to help you um and i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed this content okay uh more to come bye